Hi friends, welcome back. Today we'll continue with some more. So, up to here, what we have seen, uh, we have seen the addition of finite poles, addition of finite poles and zeros, isn't it? And also the addition of poles and zeros at origin okay so in today's lecture what we'll see we'll add some zero and poles which are not you know the which have positive real means now we are going to add the zeros in rhs okay so before that please come over here this is very important thing Friend, friends if your poles and zeros whatever the format is like s plus 1 then directly you can find out the angle isn't it s plus 1 whatever so this is the angle and you can easily can write this this is the tan inverse omega by 1 tan inverse omega by 1 this is in first quadrant so you can easily find out tan inverse one but suppose the thing is given over here in this so your angle is not this your angle is now this this is the true angle because always we are taking the angle with respect to the first quadrant real axis isn't it so this is your angle so what you will do please do not do like this what you will do is instead of you you are looking for this right so what you will do, you will do 1 at t minus this angle. For this, the phi is always given 1 at t degree, the entire angle from the real axis origin, uh, means the first quadrant real axis minus this angle. Then inverse, now everything will be in mode omega by 1. Now your system is both are one no negative no positive okay what you will do you will find out the angle of this one only only you have to do you will subtract that angle by minus 180 degree what i mean is suppose you have suppose you have s minus 1 where s is j omega or instead of this you have j omega j minus 1 what is the angle so what you will do, you will do 180 minus 10 inverse j coefficient is 1 by 1, no negative, no positive. So it is 180 minus 45, this is minus 135. No need to find out like this, 10 inverse 1 by minus 1. What you will do, this is 135, minus 135, isn't it? So you will do by this approach. What if the format is like this minus minus why I am taking minus because in this the s is also minus and the real term is also minus so minus minus in the minus minus case we will add 180 plus this phi here we will add this is the 180 degree and this is the addition so over here 180 plus 10 inverse again mode like this what about this in this case you will take 10 inverse omega by 1 please remember this this is the very 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 important okay so based on this now i'll add the zeros or poles on and those are in the rhs okay so if you remember we have taken this one if you remember and for this, when we draw the polar plot, we got it was like this, isn't it? This was the polar plot. But what if instead of this, you are adding s minus 1. Instead of finite 0, sorry, pole, you are adding finite pole now. So what is going to happen? So we will see this. Let's come, let's start the journey. 
1 divided by s s minus 1 okay so let's convert this into the frequency domain it will be j omega 1 by j omega j omega minus 1 find out the magnitude so magnitude is omega omega square plus 1 okay find two things m0 so m0 will be infinity and m infinity will be 0 find out the phi phi of this so this is minus 90 degree now please don't make mistake over here see in which quadrant this is s is positive and this is one second means for this angle is directly you can write this minus sign because of in denominator okay uh, the angle is 180 minus then inverse simply this is 1 now sorry omega by 1 so this is your angle minus 90 minus 180 plus then inverse omega okay now you need two things phi 0 and phi infinity so phi 0 is put 0 so it will be minus 270 let's find out uh, phi phi 0 omega equal to 0 we are getting minus 270 is it correct ok we will check later so let's put the value of this infinity now so it will be minus 180 ok so let's draw the uh, first to find out the starting and ending direction so ending direction is phi 0 minus phi infinity phi 0 is minus 270 and minus this you will get minus so it's anti clockwise and sd for the sd you will see the finite real uh, negative real poles are zero so here you have pole but this is not negative real means this is not in LHS so you cannot find the starting direction ok even you cannot judge it so let's start the journey so journey now will start at omega equal to 0 at omega equal to 0 m0 is infinity and uh, phi 0 is minus 270 where is 270 here is minus 270 so at infinity it will start but from which direction it will go I don't know because starting direction is unavailable with me uh, so approximate plot will draw for this omega equal to infinity omega infinity is 0 phi infinity is minus 180 so you have to go to 180 degree you will start your journey from this the ending direction should be known and that is anti clockwise so we will start your journey and we will go like this so this is uh, this is the ending direction and ending direction is anti clockwise and going to terminate at minus 180 degree also starting at minus 270 degree ok so starting direction is by default becoming anti clockwise but I don't know ok this graph may go like this also it may go so you will check it it's cutting at minus 270 degree so you are getting omega if omega is finite you are getting over here finite omega means some value you are getting so definitely the graph will be like this instead of this the graph will be like this but if this omega you are getting like that is not existing so the graph will be this one is true you can do it in the face face of the system put minus 270 degree compare with the face of the system so you will get omega if you are getting valid omega means the positive so it will be uh, valid then this graph will be true if invalid then this graph will be true ok now two more things friend and then we will wind up this session and two things are these two exponential terms c here the magnitude of this system will be 
the magnitude of this is 1 always this omega and omega square plus 1 okay and when you will find out the phi the phi of this is given how it's uh, you know this s is also given so for denominator i'm writing minus 90 minus 10 inverse omega and for this e to the power minus j omega it means whatever the multiplier of this uh, j that is omega in radian so you will convert in angle the standard format is a to the power j theta so he, i need the angle so in multiplication of j i have minus omega so this minus omega and i'm going to convert this into degree so i have to multiply with 180 degree and divide by pi okay so uh, this is your now find out phi 0 so when you will find out phi 0 so it will be uh, this will be 0 0 minus 90 correct and when you will find out phi infinity it will be minus 90 minus 90 and infinity so it is minus infinity so these are the angles so for, for this if you will draw the plot the plot will be like this we'll start from this point minus 90 it will in the starting it will be continuously like this the graph you will get for this is, is like this for different different of values of omega your angle is changing like this it will go it will go like this okay how I am doing like this see two things you have directly observed you can observe for this question that is magnitude and phi correct phi omega is 0 magnitude is infinity and this is minus 90 we are getting so here is the omega magnitude is infinity and angle is minus 90 degree so it's going to start no problem as omega is going to increase your magnitude is becoming 0 0.707 it will be uh, 192 like this here this angle is going to increase as omega equal to 2 if you will find out it will be 0.22 and this will be 267 degrees it's going to increase that's why we are reaching at minus infinity when omega equal to infinity and this is going to reduce and zero so see now if you will draw the graph for this or plot plus omega equal to 1 the magnitude will be itna but the angle will be itna so angle is going to increase again and again and again and again so it's going to like this okay but instead of this suppose suppose you are taking our second question and it it was ghs phi e to the power minus 2s so for this question if you find out the magnitude magnitude is pi constant isn't it magnitude of this is 1 so you are getting pi and if you find out the phi the phi phi is provided by this is minus 2 omega into 180 degree by pi your phi is going to change but your magnitude is same so your plot is like this your plot is like this always at any frequency your magnitude is pi constant means it's kind it's kind of circle we are drawing now this magnitude is pi always at any value of omega any value of omega you can consider magnitude is not going to change so this will be a circle okay so you can clearly see this omega equal to zero magnitude and phi how the phi is changing because this is the same for all not changing up to infinity it's pi always but as omega equal to 1 2 3 who is going to change the phase is going to change first it is minus 90 sorry 0 then minus 90 find out at 1 
at 1 if you will find out it will be minus 90 then it is minus 180 then minus 270 then minus 360 it's coming so it's going to be like this only like this like this this is 0 minus 90 minus 180 minus 270 minus 360 it's it's like this so this is the circle okay so this is all about this class in the next class we'll start the nike plot for the new student you can update uh, you can subscribe to the gatematic for the new updates and you can find us on the facebook for the doubt so we'll meet in the next lecture with the nike plot till then take care and bye